coming up. I suppose it's always um, been trying to get that win over the Kiwi side for a long time, and it must be very satisfying to, to do it from a, from a tough situation in the game. Too. Yeah, yeah. Start of the game, I thought this could be ugly, you know. And then the the lads have been sort of getting up as if each week I've been in front of you, and there's been these like 80 minute battles, and we've just fallen the other side week after week. And I felt like the guys were a bit flat. I could tell in the warm up, and uh, we're encouraging get energy into them, energy into them. And some special tries out there um, that the guys got, and then yeah, we. We got that job done. I think I said last week, the Hollanders were in front five to go, and Dunedin, you know, went down. I think by five points. The Crusaders blitzed us first 15 or so, and then we fought. They got us by 10. Then the Chiefs was a heartbreaker. Who knows how we didn't score? You know, New Zealand again, and then today, the lads, uh, they got the job done and. I talked to the lads uh, yesterday at the captain's run and it was just around the Origin game. The Queenslanders were in Maroon on Wednesday and from what I saw, um, you know, there was a set of six there where they, they just decided to win. And you improve and you get better and you, and you do stuff. But there's that next bit where you decide to win games. And um, <coughs> I'm not saying we're there yet, but <laughs> but um, yeah, we fought it out and we found a way to, to get that result. And that was important. I know, um, what is it, six wins? What's it mean in the competition? Not much. But it's important in front of our people, the rugby people who come and support us. It's important to uh, you know, the staff, the players, Working so hard, you know, the lads have been working and working and, um, and fronting and fronting and fronting and, uh, you know, to get that pay tonight, to get to be able to have a smile, get to sing your team song, to see uh, the, the people in the stands, um, you know, um, feeling proud about the Queensland rugby team. Um, you know, knowing that there's a long way to go, but, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was good. I think anyone who watched it, there's a set of six where some of the um, the reserves came on and they just went to war for six tackles. New South Wales, they sent a message to New South Wales and and they sent a message to each other. And they, I said to the lads, the key was it wasn't one guy, it was en masse. You know, and, um, you know, as a man who, you know, have a fondness for my league, uh, as I do for Union. Um, seeing them wear maroon, if you're wearing maroon, I don't care what sport it is or whatever it is, you know, I think it's great. And I just thought that was a really good, um, it was just a good example of a group of men on Wednesday decided to win. And um, that's something that I talked to the lads about, I guess challenge them a bit around like I said, we started off with a flat. There were some easy tries we gave them. Yeah, you know, we like doing things the hard way. When you, you know, probably fits with me. My dad always told me, oh, you, gotta, you learn the hard way, don't you? So, you know, so maybe it suits me for being with this team. But um, yeah, they, they got there in the end, they made it happen. And there's a difference between just losing and, and making it happen and getting the win. And yeah, I like to think they'll get some belief out of that. What about yeah. just after half time that set of six Yeah, yeah, I don't know if you guys watched it, but it stood out. They just yeah. smashed, they went in and yeah. and um yeah. For me, I just love that because I've been in teams where you know, other teams have decided to win. I've I felt that. I've been in teams where we've decided to, to, to do that business. And, you know, that's where I want this team. I want so much for this team. Man, it's a grind. She's a solid grind. Last year, this year, 
yeah, you're pouring your heart into it uh, as staff, you, wonderful staff I've got there. You're pouring your heart into it as a player. You know, um, you just, that, like, as I said to you last week, they um, they become more consistent. Tonight was the sort of first one where it was a bit flat early on, but they're consistently turning out, they're getting routine and they're fighting. They're not going away, we're down, what, 21-5? They just fight. It's not necessarily pretty. It's not, but, uh, but it's fight. So for me, that's a given in the Maroon jersey. You turn up to play, you fight to the end. The rest you can coach, you know? If you, you, that's the stuff you can't coach. You, you've got to have that spirit, that character. And that's our job to, to get these guys, you know, to help them to improve their game individually and as a team. And, like I said, I want so much from her. She's a, she's one heck of. I like her challenge. She's a solid challenge. Um, you know, she's the long game uh, at the moment. Um, um, so yeah, um, we move on to the Brumbies uh, next week, and you know, um, and we'll we'll get into that. Getting last game at Suncorp for Scott with a couple of tries to sign up. Mm. Yeah, fantastic. The big guy. A couple of weeks, you know, he had 100 games <coughs> last week. And, you know, yeah, um, it could easily be, you know, just pull back a bit, make sure he's good for his next uh, gig. But he's passionately, you know, wearing that jersey as he should with pride and ripping in two great tries. and. He brings really good voice to the group, really good presence. Sometimes it's, as a younger player, just having a guy to look at, look to, someone to stand next to, um, um, who you feel comfortable with in situations. And um, yeah, he was, uh, he got some, some good good shift tonight and it's a great uh, you know, finish for him. It would have been tough yeah, you know, if things had gone how it was looking at the start, it could have been really tough. Uh, if it had gone like it has the last five weeks, it could have been brutal, you know, missing out in the last, you know, few minutes. But this week, you know, we get to smile and we get to have our little moment and, and get to, uh, he gets to finish well in, in that jersey, you know, in a place that he's very proud to play. So, you're an emotional guy. I was more just um, we hadn't beaten uh, in the New Zealand team for a while, um, so that was a pretty special moment with the boys and obviously sending off um, like I said Scott on a, on a good note. So um, just really proud of the boys. Uh, like Thorny said, we started off, we didn't start off too well, um, and for them to fight back like that just shows um, I guess the experience that we've learned the last couple of weeks and um, just keeping out each moment and. Um, you know, and we came out on the other end and just I think all the emotions just came to me, especially that last block of defence. And then we get you know, some of our young guys, you know, we don't like to say it, but some of our young guys getting that turnover in that big moment, um, just doing their role, uh, just mm -hmm. defending mm -hmm. the line. Um, you know, they could have easily pulled up <coughs> penalty or whatever, but we stuck to what we practiced throughout the week with our defence. And um, I was just really proud of that, you know. Um, they deserved that win. The team deserved it for all the hard work they've been putting in the last couple of weeks and the last couple of months and um, throughout preseason. Um, it came down, like you know, to to those little moments and, um, like Tony said, we just decided that we we're going to win that and uh, defensively it showed in that last couple of minutes. So um, you know, that's just the emotions of, of it all. I think B. Uh, first went at the ball Brandon. and then wrong was and yeah, they all jumped in there. So Brandon worked really hard. You know, I was I was a bit worried. I thought uh, referee wouldn't uh, take it outside. So um, that's just the uh, the fight that they wanted to show, um, especially coming. I think we're twenty one five at one stage, and for us to come back, um, you know, just really proud of um, these men. What, what did you say to the players when you were twenty one five? 
I just just our next job. Um, you know, we think Pete came in. Our defense coach and just told us uh, we've got to switch on um, defensively. We just, um, I guess, not not being more aggressive the way we want to be. Um, so just talked about the kickoff. The next job, kickoff, pin them down there, uh, put pressure back on them. We can't we can't control the big outcomes. We can only control what we can control. Um, and that was the kickoff. The next job. So that's what we spoke about. Is your last game? This is going to push it. Oh, yeah. is it. Is it your last game? Is it the sort of way you'd like to uh, remember Suncorp's day? Uh, it's, it's, I hope it's not my last game. You know, there's Wallaby games still to come. Um, so there's plenty more games at Suncorp.